now let us discuss about operating system operations operating system is interrupt driven we have two types of interrupts first one is hardware interrupt second one is software interrupt so hardware interrupt means the interrupt will be generated by hardware devices it may be input device or output device whereas software interrupt means uh, we can call software interrupt as a trap the best example for the software interrupt is uh, division by zero exception software interrupt is nothing but an exception so division by zero exception so software interrupt means it may be either trap or exception the best example for the exception is division by zero instruction so numerator is any value but denominator is zero we know what is exception it is a runtime error which will occur during the program execution so we can say that operating system is an interrupt driven so when the cpu is executing the program then it may receives either hardware interrupt or software interrupt so whenever it receives the interrupt then with the help of the operating system it will handles the corresponding interrupts so in this concept mainly we are going to discuss about uh, operating system operations here we have uh, dual mode so dual mode means here mainly we will perform two types of operations we have two modes first one is user mode second one is kernel mode so in order to maintain the mode hardware provides mode bit the value of the mode bit may be either 1 or 0 so 0 means operating system in operating system what is the first letter wo so let us for remembering purpose let us assume that wo stands for 0 so here kernel mode means mode bit is zero we know there is no difference between operating system and kernel both are same only kernel contains important functions of the operating system so operating system and kernel both are same only if the mode bit is zero then we can say that it is a kernel mode kernel mode is nothing but operating system mode so what is the first letter in operating system wo so for remembering purpose let us assume that it is zero so that we can remember zero very very easily whereas if the mode bit is one then we can say that it is user mode so here user mode means cpu is executing user programs we know that whenever we develop a program that program is called as application program so application program means the programs which are developed by the users during execution that program will be loaded into the main memory so whenever a program is loaded into the main memory then we can call that as process so here first what will happen is uh, let us see this diagram so here the, the the first part so this part specifies user process whereas this part specifies kernel process so initially assumes that cpu is executing user process so user process is executing so when the cpu is executing user process then what is the mode bit the mode bit is 1 next let us assume that the next statement is system call the next statement in the process is system call it may be any system call it may be open system call or close system call or read system call write system call execute system call any system call for any system call operating system service is needed so we must need the service of the operating system in order to execute the system call so now that control has to be transferred to the kernel mode so now what will happen is uh, uh, this system call is nothing but a trap now trap is nothing but interrupt so this system call is nothing but an interrupt now so whenever it receives an interrupt uh, when the cpu is executing an interrupt or system call 
then the mode bit will be changed from 1 to 0. Why? Because now the CPU has to execute the system call. So for system call, operating system service is needed. Here kernel mode, kernel mode can also be called as system mode. That is nothing but operating system mode. Or this can also be called as supervisor mode. Or this can also be called as privileged mode. So here kernel mode means operating system code. It contains most important instructions, most privileged instructions. So operating system instructions has to be executed in kernel mode. So that's why the mode bit will be changed from 1 to 0. So mode, now the mode bit is 0. 0 specifies that now the mode bit is 0. So 0 means it is kernel mode. So now CPU starts executing the system call. So once the system, here the system call will be executed in kernel mode. Why? Because this is most privileged instruction, most important instruction. So once the system call execution is over, then CPU has to execute remaining instructions of the program. So now what will happen? The mode bit will be changed from 0 to 1 now. So now the mode bit will be changed to 1. From 0 to 1, the mode bit will be changed. So return from the system call. So now CPU will start executing remaining instructions of the user process. So generally what will happen is whenever a system is booted, whenever a system is turned on, then bootstrap loader program will be executed. Bootstrap loader program will decide in ROM. What is the task of bootstrap loader program? It loads the operating system. It loads the kernel into the main memory. It loads the kernel into the main memory. So whenever it loads the kernel into the main memory, then what is the mode bit? A bootstrap loader program is loading kernel into the main memory. So it is performing operations on the main memory. So the mode bit is 0. So initially the mode bit is 0. And after that, let us assume that CPU is starting executing user process. So user process will be executed in which mode? User mode. So user mode means mode bit value is 1. So now the mode bit will be changed from 0 to 1. Next, let us assume that CPU receives a system call. Now CPU needs to execute a system call of the process. So system call means operating system service is needed. It is most privileged instruction. That instruction has to be executed in the system mode, kernel mode. So now what will happen? This mode bit will be changed from 1 to 0. So once the system call execution is over, what will happen? The mode bit is again changed from 0 to 1. So now CPU starts executing the remaining instructions of the user process. So this is about operating system operations. Here we have dual mode operations. First one is user mode, second one is kernel mode. So why these two modes are needed? In order to protect the code of the operating system. Why? Because here the operating system contains most important instructions, most privileged instructions. A process, a process cannot access our operating system. So we must provide security to the operating system from the processes, from the user processes. So that's why we are using the mode bit. So when the mode bit is zero, then CPU can execute only user process. That process can't access our operating system. If you want to execute the content of the operating system, operating system will change the mode bit from zero to one to zero. 1 to 0 so that now CPU will start executing the content of the operating system. So this is about operating system operations. Operating system operations means dual mode operations. So you need to explain user mode as well as kernel mode operations. Kernel is nothing but operating system. Operating system wo, wo means assumes that it is 0. So mode bit is 0. So for user process mode bit is 1. So this is about OS operations.